Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from OnlinePhotographyTraining.com. Welcome to my video series, Learn Lightroom CC, also known as Lightroom in the Cloud. In this episode of Learn Lightroom CC, I'm going to demonstrate two different ways you would get images into the program. The first method involves images that are already on your computer. The second method we'll cover involves images that are on your camera or on your camera's memory card. Now we're going to start with the first method. And over here on the desktop, I have a folder called Waterfront. And inside this Waterfront folder, I have six Nikon RAW files. And along with the RAW files, you'll see that there's the XMP sidecar files. That's because I actually have these images in Lightroom Classic CC. And this is how you would load images that you have in Lightroom Classic CC in Lightroom CC as well. You would simply navigate to where they are and load them in Lightroom CC. And I'm going to demonstrate that now. Now, the neat thing about it is any edits I did in Lightroom Classic CC get carried over into Lightroom CC. And you'll see that in a minute. So I'd like to load these images that are in that waterfront folder into Lightroom CC. If you look at Lightroom's workspace, in the top left hand corner we have this plus sign. If I hover over it, you'll see it says add photos. Simply click on that and in my case because I'm using a Mac, Mac Finder pops up. If you have a PC, Windows File Explorer will pop up. You would navigate to where the images are on your computer and I mentioned they're on my desktop. They're right there. There's the waterfront folder and I want to select them all. So I'm just going to click on the first one, hold the shift key in and click on the last one. So they're all selected and then I'm going to click on review for import and you can see that I have them all here. There's the six images and I could uh, select which ones I want to import with the little plus sign. Be by default, they're all selected. I could deselect them all by turning off this checkbox right here and then select them individually with the checkbox, or I could have them selected with the checkbox and deselect the ones I don't want. But in this case, I want to send them all over. Now it's showing that it's going to add them to the Buffalo Zoo album. You may remember in our last episode, I created some albums and I put those albums inside of a folder. Well, I don't want these in that Buffalo Zoo album. So I'm going to click the little drop down and I'm going to click on new. I want to create a new album and I'm going to call this just um, Waterfront, just like that folder was labeled. So I'm calling it Waterfront. I could call it anything I'd like, but I'm going to call it Waterfront and click create. So these will be imported into Lightroom CC and they're going to go in the album called Waterfront. Once they're imported, then Lightroom will send them out up to the cloud. When that happens, when they're up in the cloud, I could delete this folder. I don't need to keep it there. So that's the advantage of Lightroom CC. All your images are stored in the cloud and they're accessible from all your devices. So if you use Lightroom Mobile, on your iPad or tablet, smartphone, whatever, these images will show up there as well. So we're going to click add six photos and you'll notice then they're added and there's our six photos. And I mentioned these are already processed in Lightroom Classic CC. So the processing came with it. And you'll notice over here in the top right hand corner, you'll see this little cloud and you'll see a little like progress circle spinning around. That indicates that my computer is currently uploading these images to the cloud. When that is done, that little progress circle will disappear. They'll be done. They'll be up in the cloud. So it's probably good practice to leave Lightroom CC open to allow it to finish uploading any images you imported into it up to the cloud. So then they'll be accessible from all your devices um, almost immediately. Now, We'll go over here to the left hand side and see these little like bookshelf or set of books. That's my photos. We kind of touched on that in our last video. And if I click on that, you'll go down here and you'll see there is my waterfront album. Now you see it's down here all by itself. And you'll remember in the last video, I created a photo or a folder and I called that folder all photos. 
by default, it's not put in that folder. I'd have to drag it in there. So I'm simply going to drag it into that folder. So now it's in my All Photos folder. It has three albums now. Buffalo Zoo, Thin Man Sculpture, and Waterfront. And you'll see the Waterfront um, little postage stamp um, icon there is showing that kind of progress bar spinning. Again, that's indicating that these images are currently being uploaded to the cloud. And you'll notice the other two have little check marks next to them. That means those are already completed. They're uploaded to the cloud already. So that's how you would import images that are already on your computer into Lightroom CC. What if you just took images with your camera and you'd like to get those into Lightroom CC? It's pretty much the same method. Now, I went out this morning and I took some kind of lousy images because the sky was very boring today. But I took some images and they're on my camera's memory card. And I'm going to plug that memory card into the computer. And once my computer recognizes that that memory card is there, it mounts it. And you can see it's right there, um, Nikon D850. So my camera... Uh, camera's memory card is now mounted onto my computer and now when I go up here to this little plus sign and I click on it you'll see that instead of just Mac Finder or Windows File Explorer popping up I now have a choice I could browse my computer for images like I did last time or you'll see that it sees that that memory card is plugged in it's an icon D850 that's the name I put on my memory card and I could just click on it. And you'll see once it does, it reads the images off the memory card. And again, I could either select all of them or deselect all of them with that little checkbox or selectively select them by clicking on or off the little check mark that is in the top left hand corner. Now I want to import them all. Um, I also want to add them to an album. They're not zoo pictures, thin man sculpture pictures, and it's not really our waterfront. This is a part of Buffalo called Elevator Alley. Uh, the grain elevator was invented in Buffalo, and we have tons of grain elevators all over the waterfront, Lake Erie waterfront, and the Buffalo River. And this is an area on the Buffalo River that has a lot of grain elevators, and it's nicknamed Elevator Alley. So I'm going to create a new album, and I'm going to call it, you guessed it, Elevator Alley. And I'm going to click Create. So I have them going into this album. And I'm just going to click Add 15 Photos. And once it does, you'll see there they are. That one's a little underexposed, but that's all right. You could get it. Now, these are straight RAW files from the um, camera's memory card. So there's no processing done on these at all yet. And you can see I mentioned the skies were super boring, but we'll process them. I, then I thought, well, it kind of would look cool, I think, if we uh, do a panorama. So I did some vertical shots. There's a couple horizontal shots, kind of lousy. But you can see these are a bunch of grain elevators on the Buffalo River. So very easy to get them into Lightroom CC. And you'll see over here in the top right-hand corner, we have that little cloud again, and you can see that that... Um, status circle is spinning. So it is uploading the images into uh, Lightroom CC. We'll go over here to where the album is. We'll click there. And you can see that, again, it's right here. And it's not inside of my All Photos folder. And I want it in there. So I'm going to just drag it in there. So now it's in there. It's in alphabetical order. And you can see that that circle is spinning. And I'll just leave Lightroom uh, CC open to allow those images to get uploaded to the cloud. Then again, I could go to my iPad Pro, my phone, whatever, open up Lightroom, and those images will be there. Now, in our next episode, we're, I'm going to show you some more of the workspace and how you could, uh, different ways you could view the images in Lightroom CC, and we're also going to cull the images and rate the images. In the episode after that, we're going to finally get to the fun stuff, and we're going to process the images. Then in subsequent 
episodes, I'll actually be using Lightroom CC on my iPad Pro to show you how it works and on my iPhone. I happen to have an older iPhone, iPhone 7, but Lightroom works fine on my iPhone 7. So I'll demonstrate all that in future episodes. So we have that to look forward to. Thank you everyone for watching my video series, Learn Lightroom CC. If you could do me a favor and like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really appreciate that as well. Also, in the description below this video will be a link to my website. Come visit my website, onlinephotographytraining.com. There you'll find all kinds of free photography how-to articles and videos. I'll talk to you guys soon.